with the bank, making money, making moves. Machines with tools and drills, making grooves. Missions Hello, and welcome back to In the Green with Investor. I'm Charlie Seidels, and today I'm talking with Investor Super user Hunter Berg. He's pursuing a master's in psychology and researching behavioral finance, which makes him a very knowledgeable resource, and he's been very willing to pass that knowledge on to the investor community. The guidance he offers to new users and the watch lists he publishes daily have made him one of investors' most influential people. Here is our conversation. Hello, Hunter. How are you today? I'm doing really well. That's great to hear. So my first question is, what was your first experience with investing? Yeah, so I was probably about 18 and a half years old. So I thought, well, maybe I'll dabble in the markets and make some side money. And so, yeah, I basically just started with a couple hundred bucks and tried to get like a 10% return. That took a while. Um, and then just built off. I, I basically just fell in love with it from there. And what was your strategy at that time? My strategy was probably value investing. I, I wanted to find something that was low, kind of eerily low, so that, you know, there would just be like more, way more upside than downside. And how did you first find the investor app? Yeah, that was um, my first year into my, my master's degree. So about a year and a half to, you know, a year and eight months or so. And I found this app basically just, you know, went on the Apple store and typed in investing and it came up and I tried it out. And at that point for my master's, I was really um, honing in on a degree focused around behavioral economics and market psychology. And I had never run into the app. And once I started, I tried it out for a couple of days um, and I just fell in love with it. I contacted the team and I, I wanted to get who created this, this wonderful app, where is it going and how can I be a part of it? What's the first thing you tell people when they are starting on investor? Right. Yeah. My number one piece of advice would be to find a grouping of stocks in four sectors. So two stocks, four sectors, that gives you eight stocks. Even if you've been investing for a while, try this as a project. Take those eight stocks and watch them for six months and watch them every day because big issue that investors run into is the overwhelming nature of choice. There's just so many stocks and ETFs and mutual funds and so on. I've run into a situation that I've never seen and I know many market players haven't seen. So, you know, it's always changing and limiting what your eyes see so that you can actually identify trends that are going on within certain companies in different sectors. You become a great guru or advanced trader once you collect as many of those types of specific experiences with either one, two, et cetera, like however many instruments that you follow. Wow, that's actually awesome advice. I may have to try that myself going forward. So what is your favorite part about Investor? There's just so much in terms of like a social movement going on that um, that's, I think that's my favorite part. And, and that's intertwines with the great people that we have and the great users we have on the app that are like, yeah, let's go. You know, we're all in this together. We're all learning and we're doing big things by learning and spreading it to our friends. So how have you noticed the app change? You've been on it for 17 months. How have you noticed the app change since you first started using it? Going over the feed, it was, you had a couple people who would post here and there, but you know, it was just all the buys and sells. And uh, when people would post, a lot of those posts were kind of just unfocused or they were just asking questions and the team would have to come on in order to respond. And, and so, you know, I kind of took advantage of that, uh, advantage of that and tried to post in a certain way. You know, my, I've been doing the daily watch list, uh, my daily morning watch lists, basically every, every weekday, you know, non-holiday weekday since that first month that I was on the app. 
And very quickly, over like the first month, people started trying their own watch lists. You know, they would ask me questions and I would ask questions with every watch list and people would start talking more. I've just seen the growth in the conversation on the feed. And I think that that social component is just so key. And so there's nothing else like it. And my final question to you today is what is your outlook on the market going forward over the next few months? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. Many of my posts for the last three to four weeks have just been super bearish. Right now we're in, we're experiencing an anomaly and it's very uncomfortable to see what's going on in the world. That's just so mismatched from, you know, the amount of money that's being made in the stock market. Um, Because I mean, most people I, and myself with my experience investing too, you, you basically assume that the stock market is going to kind of follow the health of the world or not the not the the public health of the world but just how well things seem to be going around the world and things just don't seem to be going well i i mean i feel like that's a pretty big understatement and the fact that the stock market has been propped up and expanding this whole time after the first i mean the, the first dip it leads me to have a strong feeling that you know that may have been the bottom but i i i do expect a dip to be coming yeah the next few months will no doubt be interesting times but thank you hunter for coming on in the green with investor today and thank you to all the listeners for listening to this episode we'll be back next week with another episode moving forward we're actually going to be releasing two episodes a week the first of which will be my interview with 12 year old investor user Rihan Buvaji. So we will see you then. I am not a financial advisor, and my comments should never be taken as financial advice. Investments come with risk, so always do your research and analysis before.